Picture of all of us? Okay. I thought. Okay, so now we have to Oh, no. Push this Of course, everybody has to. No, let's all see. Go ahead, Brian. Okay. I'm not doing a very good job. Will do. I'm sorry, I'm kind of weak, so. Okay. I'll do the pushing then. <laughs> I apologize. But Quite all right. Okay, here. Okay. I'll take my purse. Oh, yeah, the light. Yeah. My purse has to. I think it is thin. Exactly, yeah. Really? Oh, I think it is thin. Too, too big there. But I made him drive, I know he did. He was bad because he used to drive. I said, well, if I have a dead dog there when we come, I'll have to kill you then, you know. <laughs> That's true, you know. <laughs> so he ended up driving. Oh, gosh. Must be hard to travel with a dog. Putting him on a plane is really weird. Wait, uh, but then we end up bringing her back one time because yep. I've never put him in a kennel. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I had, uh, we were coming to California at Christmas. Ooh, yeah. And I couldn't find a place to keep him with anyone. So I ended up bringing him with me. And he said, you made me drive all that way, and then you bring on the plane back. <laughs> yes, he is. Very, he's closer to me. Yes. He goes, John Bond. <laughs> John Bond. Well, well, somebody I worked with, his brother, his sister and brother-in-law, Three kids and a baby raccoon drove out from Kentucky, and he lived in Hollywood, and he had an apartment, and they left the baby ra it's baby raccoon. They actually brought it with them, and and they left it in the apartment all day, you know. And he said, and the raccoon washed everything. He washed potato chips. You know, they always wash their food. They don't have any salivary glands, so it looks like they're washing it because they're very clean, but they have to moisten everything in order to eat it. So this raccoon, they wash everything, you know, and they wash potato chips. You know. There's potato chips all over the rug, soggy potato chips. Awesome. And he said, I said, where did they ever get the idea? I mean, a dog is, you know, manageable, but a raccoon? Yeah. And, and he said, oh, he was so glad when they left. <laughs> they said they went to Disneyland one day and they left the raccoon at home. And apparently he uh, jumped up on the table. He had an alarm clock radio and he accidentally switched it on. This scared him, so he went on the radio and shorted it out. Oh, no. And he's like, I couldn't wait to get it. And he's telling this crazy story at work, and I said, are you kidding? I said, they brought a wild animal out here. All the 3,000 miles, they drove a wild animal oh. out here. Oh. Yeah, he said they, they had a lot of, I've known people who had pet <laughs> raccoons, but they're not. So some of them are very tame. What's that name mean? <laughs> who's faster than me? Well,
separated, and then my dad started working for the government, and then he could never go. Yeah, because we were taxpayers. Yeah, and we could never go. We could couldn't even travel to Europe. There's not enough passports to travel there. Really? Because you got through there. Yeah. So there was that. Those two countries have been that unfriendly for that long. Yeah, and plus because of my dad working well, yeah. he can't get home. Then mm -hmm. he, so I told he said I yeah. tried to find me out of town or something. I had you know? I had to, well for a long time I was I, I was really bad about picking up my email. I really made a habit now every day or every other day with this here. And um, I have your address and phone number. Okay. So that I've got. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. I'm glad yeah. we could finally meet everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's funny, that's the way you came. <laughs> you were sleeping. Yeah. Yeah, I'll let you guys out. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to see the pictures, too. <laughs> I know. Yeah.